Hi everyone, I'm Jen. It's early summer and I thought I would do a haul dedicated to this very specific time of the year. I'm gonna start off with shoes because shoes are I think my most favorite part of any outfit. I realized that I don't really have that many sneakers in my shoe collection. The only pair of tennis shoes I have are the running ones I have. And I thought I would add some Converse to the mix. And these are my very, very first ones I've ever owned in my entire life. I'm really excited to get them all rough and dirty because something about super clean Converse just makes me feel a little bit unsettled. So these are just gonna look amazing with time and as they get more rugged. I love platforms. I added some nude ones to my collection. They look like they would be really heavy because they have this wood detailing on the side, but it's completely fake. It's made out of this fluffy styrofoam material. Obviously it's not styrofoam, something more substantial than that, but it feels a bit squishy. And these have been my go-to shoes as of lately because I have way too many boots and I didn't want to be a victim of boot tan and so these are helping me keep my feet the same color as my legs. Speaking of boots, I got some white ones and I think these are a nice change of pace than all the black ones I have. These are a gorgeous ivory color and they've got a cutout on the heel so you can flash some foot flush if you'd like. And the heels are super interesting. They're set in a diagonal way and they're just quite interesting to look at. I picked out these heels because they remind me of those really sexy Valentino ones. I thought these would be a really cool way to make just an edgy statement because of the studs, yet they're still quite playful and feminine because of the pale pink color. As you can see, I really like pale pink. Moving on to accessories, I'm holding this clutch. It's sea foam and it has a bunch of beautiful little cutouts on the end. If you have a phobia with porous things, this clutch isn't for you, but if you have no problem with it, I think we're good. This is essentially just a clutch, something you just stuff under your armpit and hope that you don't lose it during the night. My next item are these pair of earrings. It's a wolf howling at something and also these triangles that have a turquoise stone just smack dab in the middle of it. Realistically, no one's probably going to notice them until you point out, oh, I'm wearing studs, or if you wear a ponytail. I just thought they were cute because it's the little things in life that just kind of bring up your day. All right, so let's move on to some summer tops. I think floral crop tops are a summer essential. They're just really easy to just chuck on when you're just feeling like crap. And this one is quite a boxy fit. This one is by Motel and it is a dark floral which I love because it works year round. You can pair it with dark colors for the winter and fall and then you can pair it with some white denim shorts for the warmer months. I think lattice details are a great way to add some mystery and sexiness to your wardrobe. I think the intricate webbing on the chest creates kind of a dominatrix feel to it, but since it's white, it really, really tones it down. If you're really into nature-inspired things, but you're sick of floral, why not try the clouds in the sky? I picked out this gray cloud top because it's black and white, and this one also has a really boxy fit. Tempted to cut off the sleeves again, and I'm probably gonna do that after I film this. I got this sweater because sometimes it gets cold at night. Actually, it's always cold at night. And this one's cropped, which is amazing because it looks great with high-waisted things. And here's the twist. The back is completely in this basket woven texture. It's just something really nice to wear, especially if you wanna wear this during the day because the little holes provide some ventilation for your back. This is another top that's ideal for summer nights. It's a mishmash of feminine and edgy. The feminineness comes from the beautiful chiffon material that's very flowy and girly. And then the edginess comes from the pleather lining that's all around the collar and the sleeves. I loved watching Southern Moon as a kid and collecting paraphernalia like most Asian girls. <laughs> so when I saw this shirt, I was like, dude, it's freaking Luna on a crop top made out of this really stretchy, soft material. And then I bought two other crop tops, which are exactly the same. This is a white one and this is a striped one. I just had to stock up on basics and so far I really like the quality of Brandy Melville's tops, especially for what I'm paying for. They're just really stretchy and stuff that you want to wear when you're super lazy and just want something soft on your skin. If you watch Anna Lee from Anna Lee and Jesse on YouTube, I know that she has a million of these and I know she can vouch for them as well. Them. Them.
I briefly made a visit to the thrift store over the weekend at the thrift store outlet and I just left with this flannel. I'm extremely, extremely picky with flannel. I prefer flannel that's more of a faded, demure color and I like the plaid to be kind of just a little bit random. This is going to be really great to just layer over things like a white basic tee or like a band shirt or something. My next top might be controversial to some. I love this thing and I'm going to continue to wear it. It's Eunice as if top and it is this white sheer top that comes with a black bralette that's made out of this really soft vegan leather. I think this top is something that Cher from Clueless would wear with absolutely no shame and that's exactly how I'm going to wear it too. All right, um, ran out of hangers. So this little cardigan is just something to throw over just chilly summer nights. It's this nice gray fitted cardigan with patches of yellow and teal and darker shades of gray. It's slightly peculiar and I think that's why I like it. Okay, this jacket. This jacket is just everything I like because First off, I've been loving sportswear and it's in a varsity jacket silhouette. Second, it's buttery soft pleather and so when you accidentally rub your hands on the sleeve, you just can't help but be like, wow, this is so soft. Third, there's a hood attached to it and if you live in the bay, I think you guys know that it gets freaking cold and so when you throw up the hood and get to keep your ears warm, it's definitely a plus. Shall we move on to bottoms? I think we should. My first pair of shorts are these high-waisted ones that are cream and have this gorgeous delicate lace lining on the bottom. And keep in mind, these are very short. These are short shorts. I think these are going to be perfect for those sweltering hot summer days where you're really tempted to just walk out in your bare skin with a mist bottle. If you're looking for a statement pant that catches your eye and your ears, I think these are the pants for you. These are the evil twin rivet pants and they're high-waisted, they're decked out in studs and I think it's important to kind of appreciate the craftsmanship that went along making this because dude, there's even studding on the butt. To end my haul with something a little bit more modest, I'm going to be talking about skorts and skorts are basically if a skirt and a pair of shorts just had a baby. I have these angular skorts from She Inside and these are extremely flattering because the little flaps hide the biggest part of your thigh so it just gives you the illusion of really shapely little legs. Alright, so that was my haul. Feel free to check the down bar to see the items that I showed on this video. I'll provide links if they're still available. If you have an Instagram, my username is I'm Jen M. You can check me out if you feel like this video wasn't enough. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one or you'll see me in my next one or we'll see each other in... okay, alright.